What is going on guys, Politics Gaming here, and today I am doing the next episode of the Islamic Republic of Iran, and today we are calling for a new election. Um, basically, the reason we are calling this election is to basically um, increase our majority in the parliament of the um, Islamic Republic, and basically this will give us enough leeway power to enact our laws while instituting a free democracy in Iran, um, while at the same time we would still be able to um, get things passed and um, basically to allow the people to have more of a voice in our country. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and dissolve the parliament, call for a new election. So, um, it is May 19th, 2018. Let's go to the next day. Dissolution of Parliament. National Association for an Alternative World. Looks like we have more civil dissent. Let's go ahead and get our guys to kick their asses and um, get them to group up, really. And we're gonna go ahead and kick some booty. And let's get them to go down here. Um... Ugh. God, I hate riots. If there's one thing. One thing I hate, it's riots. <clears throat> Alright, the Kerman Mashad space program is in um, good efficiency, and we have already approved the program. So, um, we are now all ready to do that. Um start of the legislative campaign so we are now 26 days from our legislative election um it will be held on 6 17 2018 so we are golden basically um religious holiday military attack um go ahead and get rid of all this so, um, what is our first order of business? We are actually going to meet with a billionaire and ask him for, to fund our campaign. So we can go ahead and, um, well, actually, this is a legislative election. We basically need to be as popular as possible. Gander Kavan is in second place just behind ours, so let's go ahead and see the vote. 54%, we will gain a majority at this rate. Um, so as long as we get over 50% of the vote, um, we will basically be hilariously golden. I'm sorry, but we still disagree on some points. Ask him to fund your party, go ahead. Um, then go to the next day. So, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and just com continue, um, passing more, um, laws and doing things in which it will allow for, um, and they have been freed. Alrighty then. Let's go to water treatment, give more funding to water treatment, more funding for garbage collection, more funding for wet weather supervision, protection of the fauna and flora, development of green spaces in Iran. Um, and then let's go over here, nuclear threats, let's get more funding. Um, forest fires, pollution, um, we don't have any volcanoes. Um, tidal wave, we can go ahead and give more funding. Let's go ahead and give full funding to earthquake preparation. Um, drought and heat wave, let's give it more funding to that. And flooding and mud flows, I actually, um, played around with that, and I had a very, very expensive mud flow. So if we are, if we are prepared, we will, um, basically be, again, golden for that. Um, let's go ahead and give, um, tax 
de reduction using um, clean energies. So let's go ahead and give tax credits for those who um, use um, renewable energies on their home. That will cost us exactly $71 million. So let's go ahead and do that. We still have a very, very high surplus. Um, the Economic Cooperation Organization, Syria has asked to join it. Let's go ahead and allow them to join our organization. I highly doubt they're going to be able to join because they um, are not able to join. So let's go ahead and go back over here. 54.7% of the vote is going to go to us if we keep this up. Um, so... Pillar of Islam, Iranian Union of Independence, Iranian National Shiite Party, and Liberal Social Democratic Party. Um, this is going to be, and our presidential election is actually supposed to be held on in um, May 23rd of 2021. Um, so we are a little good for that, honestly. Um, so let's go ahead and get to the end of May. And then we are going to Minister of Transport threatens our course of action. I do not care. Um, we have already created a new government. So um, we will not have to create a new government for a couple of years at least. Um, heritage and Monuments. Oh god, we need to give more funding to our culture. Um, theater, musical comedies, dance, um, circus... You know what? I'm going to allow for more literature, comics, um, video games. Good, good, good. Um, animation or quality animation films from the Islamic Republic. Family films, obviously, and um, art film. Classical music, variety blues, uh, rock, rap, and world music. Um, get more funding. Circus, I'm going to go ahead and give one star funding. Go there, and then let's go over to... Um, dedicated to the head of the government. Hmm. Memorial site. Let's go ahead and build some more memorial sites. Um, I am going to build these in... Tehran, Liberties, um, we will, um, hang on, alright, let's, military nuclear program, completion of the enrichment center, a sample of uranium has just been transported in order to proceed with the first test, a few weeks from now the center will be fully operational, see you soon. And just before that, I am actually, I think I already gave more funding to that. Um, actually, I probably didn't. Fight against doping. Sports for the handicapped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, national scout movements and national youth movements. Um, I th think that's more of a... Wow, we are completely underfunding our sports. Let's go ahead and give them, like, mid-stars everything you know what I'll do that another time just so I can kind of um, regain that focus um, but in the meantime we are still focusing on our legislative election in which we are going to kick some serious butt um, for getting 55% of the vote um, once this election happens. <clears throat> um, terrorist attack in Syria. 449 are dead. Um, Netherlands obviously is now liking us. Because we are now a conservative rightist government. Um, we are not. We are still a religious um, regime. But that will change very very soon. And we will definitely improve relations with the rest of the world. Once we do change that form of regime. Um... 57% of the vote. We are going to get nearly 60% of the vote um, upon these election results. So let's go ahead and check the numbers. 
the Islamic, the Iranian National Shiite Party is going to be the second biggest party. That is the party that we had. Um, Iranian Union of Independence will get 17% of the vote. And the Liberal Social Democratic Party will get only 4% of the vote. So let's go over here. Um, National Shiite Party will probably make a gain or actually a loss. Um, Liberal Social Democratic Party is obviously not um, a matter. Um, Iranian Union of Independence has 74 seats or 26%. They are the second biggest party in the parliament. Um, so the National Shiites will be the second biggest party at this rate. Let's go ahead and put that at 57.8. Law on tax reductions decree takes effect as of today. Um, Kim Hin Yu, um, terrorist attack in Afghanistan, 23 dead. Um, and let's go ahead and get one last stroke of approval. Um, we need to look at our inflation real quick 12.81%. Um, I need to reduce. That's I'm gonna increase the interest rate. No, I'm not gonna place any spies in uh, Israel. We share the same political party, but our uh, again our regimes are very very different. Um, so we are now up to the legislative election, and now we are going to look at the results. All right, just right after the election results, we seem to have been suffering a riot in Tehran. It seems that there is dissent because people are now accusing the government of Iran by meddling in the election results, receiving foreign interference from the United States, and people are now accusing the government of Iran of cheating the election because of the massive vote margin that we received. We received 56% of the vote. We are now meddling and now um, fixing the um, resistance to this new election result in Iran. Um, right now, we are now losing police numbers. Um, we are going to go ahead and move these guys out to make sure that they are not going to die. Let's go in. Get to him. Um. Let's get these guys over here. I actually noticed something that you can actually <laughs> zoom in. On these maps, I always thought that you, uh, it was, it was weird. I actually really figured that out, and it's, it's actually really cool. Um, we're gonna get these last, um, riders over here. And, looks like our military was asking to intervene, but we got that all taken care of. Legislative ter elections turnout of 53%. Um, 
necessary intervention by the army. Didn't we already take? Whoa! There are armed pe armed uh people firing upon our police. Let's go ahead and send them in. You know what? Oh my god. We need to send a mi- Oh my god. We need to send a military in. This riot is now getting very, very violent. We need to move our police back. This is a very, very violent riot. No, 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 no. We need to move you guys down. We need to move them down. Come on, come on. We need our boys. Oh, the second round. There's a second round of elections. Come on, we need to move them in. They just completely ignored him. He scared off one of our police officers. Okay. Are you kidding me? But we kill him. Kill him. God dang. That difficult? We have subdued terrible, terrible riot that went on there. 52% turnout. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and change that law to one round because that um obviously is only meant for um parliamentary. Um, wow, looks like the Iranian Union of Independence was the, is the second biggest party. Um, actually, the um, Shiite party is actually the second biggest party, but both of them have a very, very similar numbers. The Iranian National Shiite Party actually has one seat um, more than the, than the Independent Party. So, this was a very successful election. We got over 50% of the vote, nearly a massive supermajority in the parliament. Um, change the, that, um, so now we are now ready to become a democracy in Iran. We are now ready to vote laws, but no motions of no confidence. The parliament is now going to become le um, more than a consolidative role. They are now going to be, um, Hamid party is the winner. 171 seats out of 290 altogether. And first act under this new parliament is going to be to allow for um, more powers to become to the parliament that will be voted on on the 18th of July. Um, so I'm going to go over go over here. And I am going to look at the file of these people. Um, right there. Saw a violent film in the cinema. And then let's go to the Kurdish resistance. Um, it looks like we now have more people that we can surveil. Um, originally there was barely anyone there. So let's put all these people under surveillance. 
I'm not going to infiltrate him just yet, but um, I will um, in a while. So let's go to our parliament. Um, $3.8 billion cash surplus. Our, our uh, surplus is working out very, very well. Um, that's weird. There's no paper. I guess there's no news. Um, high density in the labs. Enrichment center operational. Um, we will begin enriching the uranium to make our first bomb. This step will be long, almost a year, and costly, but the power that we will draw from it will be immense. Um, I think after we discover or uh, discover the nuclear bomb, that will automatically give us the ability to um, create nuclear power. So we will actually be able to skip the research process. Um, One point five billion dollars. Two percent. Wow. 27% growth, oh my god. We need to lower that growth. No, no, please no. Oh god, that growth is gonna kill us. We are, god damn. I'm gonna max out my interest rate. Threat of attack imminent by the Kurdish resistance. We are we are heading toward a massive economic crisis. Our growth is extremely dependent off of our contracts that we have signed, and um, once those con once those contracts expire, our economy is going to go down to tubes. Twenty seven point eight six percent growth. That is our growth rate. We have the highest growth rate in the world. Okay, Libya has 54% growth, but Western inflation. They have 98% inflation. Oh, God. Um, so, we are probably going toward the same route that Syria, Libya, South Sudan, and Venezuela are probably heading down. Um, if we do not get this in track, um, currency, can we? No, we can't. Not yet. We need to do something real quick. We have strong suspicions that this is going to happen. Kurdish resistance. Um, uh, reinforced this front door. I am going to arrest him. And arrest him. Let's go ahead. Oh, it wasn't either of them. Uh oh. Um, we have no idea who this guy is. Bought a mini camera, bought a mini camera. Um, uh, we have no idea who it is. And he initiated a hostage crisis. And we are now about to pass our law to allow our parliament to become a free, independent institution. And we have done it. So that is going to be our last decree. And we will now be able to introduce laws to parliament. What is going to be our first law? Um, let's go. Let's go to culture. 
criticism of the state subject to censorship, and we will now introduce that to the Parliament. Overwhelming support, 78% of the vote. Taken hostage. Alright, we have found them. So let's get them. Loosening of the censorship of the criticism of the state. The Arts and Media Union encourages the government to go even further. National institutions and policies of the state. So... Alright, he's safe. So let's go ahead and go to the passage of this law, which is going to be on August 2nd. And let's get right to the news. Um, foreign dignitary from Azerbaijan. We are going to refuse that meeting. Um, even though we are not, we are an ally of Azerbaijan. They are under our protection. <laughs> Let's, um, wonder what we should do. Maybe whenever we increase relations with Europe, we can actually build a uh, Iranian, um, European pipeline. Let's go to the 2nd of August. Place of honor. Wow. All right, let's go to August 3rd, in which we will now pass our first piece of legislation under our new parliament. And... There we go. We have now passed it. Law on the criticism of the state. Unfortunately, we are not going to be able to pass any more value-added tax increases, or, um, you know, increasing taxes would actually help us cut this growth, because this growth is horribly, horribly bad for our economy. Um, our inflation is now nearing, we cannot increase it past 20%. Um, inflation is about to hit 20%, so next time we need to control this economy, we need to get our growth down, and, um, do something real, real good. Um, maybe even cut those contracts and um, negotiate smaller ones because those are horribly, horribly um, bad consequences for our economy in the long run. And we will run a massive deficit and a massive debt and a massive unemployment rate and a massive decession, recession um, if this continues. So next time we will go ahead and do that. And if you guys like this episode, go ahead and like and subscribe for um, new content every week on politics gaming, and I will see you guys in the next episode of the Islamic Republic of Iran.